nice to be in Budapest. I'm sorry I don't speak your language. <laughs> uh, but you are okay to understand mine, is that all right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, can I tell you a story in that case? Yeah. yeah. I like to tell stories. It's okay? Yeah. yeah. Oh, good. Oh, good. Well, first, your city is fucking beautiful. The lucky people you are. So this story is about my mother. And does anyone else in the room besides me have a, a mom? Yeah, maybe. Oh, well, that surprised me. My mother was a, a Mormon woman. Do you know Mormon? Yeah. LDS, right? Mitt Romney. Mom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, my mother raised me Mormon until I was uh, 16 years old. And uh, at about 16, then I just decided I was just going to fuck off. <laughs> I'm Mormon anymore. My mother, on the other hand, she stayed, uh, she stayed true to her faith her whole life. She didn't, uh, well, she, she, upheld the standards of the church. She didn't drink alcohol or smoke cigarettes or do any of the drugs or have sex before she was married. She didn't envy her neighbor, well, at least she tried, or steal anything from the market. <clears throat> she was true blue, my mom, the whole way through. Despite her impeccable behavior, she came down with cancer when she was 54. Cancer of the stomach. And when she was complaining about the pain in her stomach, myself being the black sheep of the family, is that a familiar term to you? The outcast, the naughty one. I decided that I'd suggest to her that she smoke some marijuana. <laughs> How do you say around here? <clears throat> <clears throat> I thought she would say absolutely no. I thought she would say no. You know, because um, my mother, her whole life has been working to get to heaven. And well, we all know that pot smokers don't go to heaven. <laughs> Despite what I thought of my mother, she said yes to my proposal. She must have been very uncomfortable. So, being from California and having access to the most beautiful outdoor homegrown weed, I packed some up in a jar of peanut butter and I sent it through the U.S. Post. <laughs> When my mother received it, she called me up on the phone and she said, Jesse, I have this pot and I have this pipe, but I don't know how to smoke it. And I said, Don't worry, Mom, I'll show you how. She was very nervous, I think reasonably so. So I got out a pipe of my own, some of the leftover weed, and not being much of a smoker, but being absolutely happy to help. I uh, uh, packed a bowl, I taught her how to do the same, and I lit the bowl, I taught her how to do the same, and there, me and my mom got high over the phone together. <laughs> Has anyone in the room ever gotten high with their mom before? <laughs> I'm sure someone in this room has gotten high with their mom. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Now, have you ever gotten high with your Mormon mom before? <laughs> no. No, there's still time. We had a conversation one of the nights we had never had before. Afterwards, I hung up the phone and I wrote this song to support my mom. 
only song I've ever written under the influence of pop that would dare sing for a room full of beautiful and intelligent people. It's called Whispering Light, and it's for Jeanette. 